Hey, what up guys? This is Ryan the PC Battle Stations, and today we're going to talk about the Fractal Design's new AIO, which is the Celsius Plus, and they sent me the S28 Prisma here. Uh, the Prisma has the addressable RGB fans, uh, the dynamics do not, and then the Celsius Plus versus the Celsius, I believe the Celsius Plus is the bigger pump, and then this one's the 280 millimeter rad, so the S28, they also have an S24, which is obviously the 24, 240 millimeter rad, and then the S36, which is the 30, 360 millimeter rad. So those are the different line of the new AIOs coming out. I'm excited to take a look at the features and how it performs, how it looks, everything like that. So let's get let's get to unboxing and we'll take a look at it. Let's do this. So now we've got it all unboxed, let's take a look at all the features and everything that it has. I pretty much put everything together and all the cable management and everything and put the AMD 4 uh, bracket on here since I have the Ryzen 7 3700X. And um, so this is pretty much uh, the same as you know the, all the Acetec technology, the liquid cooling technologies uh, where they have a patent on the inline pumps that's connected to the tube. So pretty much know how it's going to perform. A lot of the major brands, why they pretty much look the same. Um, and this one that I have here is the S28 or the 280 millimeter rad where it has the two 140 millimeter fans. This one's the Prism or Prisma, so it has the addressable LED fans. And um, first thoughts here, you know, the cable management is actually pretty good. 
Um, as you can see, what I really like about this is, you don't see this on a lot of the AIOs, is they actually have the fan and LED hub mounted to the radiator, which is really nice. So it really helps with the cable management and doesn't have a separate unit or anything like that that everything plugs into and all the cables are all over the place. And that's one of the things you'll want to know too is because as you can see on the pump, you have the fan or the cables running in the actual tubes, which is really nice for cable management. Nice uh, clean look here, which is really good. And then so you got everything mounted here and you could just basically mount the fans or the cables uh, right on the radiator here. And they come included with the two little plastic pieces where you can just uh, have those uh, cables stuck right there for nice clean cable management look. Um, I also like the like a rubberized feel rather than just the metallic. So that's kind of a different look. Uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, one thing to know too is the AM, AMD bracket is a little different. It's not the four pin that you usually see. One of the things I'd like here too is uh, there's no software that you actually install, so it could be a positive and negative, but I know a lot of people when you install software, separate software, uh, to control the fans or the lighting it could be troublesome, problematic. Um, so this actually, everything's in here, so there's no software to install. It's really clean um, and minimal where you control this with the, like, the fan speed with, the, they're calling it the intelligent, uh, what is the intelligent auto mode dynamically adjusts the fans uh, for optimized speeds and silent performing performance so you can actually switch to auto and you can switch to PWM mode so when we take a look at the performance we'll switch between those two and see how the noise level is and what it actually does it actually lower the temperature uh, which is better for which scenario one of the things I don't like is uh, it looks like the RGB cable right here is coming out the bottom and then you got the PWM fan cable here which is coming out the other side. So for cable management I would like to see maybe these two cables kind of be close together so you can kind of route them together rather than having one on the bottom having one on the side and then you have to kind of bring them together and uh, wrap it around for some cable management. Kind of looks messy when you got a cable popping out here and you know, off to the side. So let's take a look at the performance of this AIO and uh, I got it in my new computer which is the Fractal Design Meshify S2 which is the larger brother of the Meshify C and I'm going to be stress testing the Ryzen 7 3700X. We're just going to do the base clock speed at 3.6 megahertz and we're using Prime 95 software to stress test it using the small FFTs or <laughs> and then we're going to take a look at the noise level between the PWM mode and the auto mode and the temperature of both. So let's take the results of the stress test. What we're looking at for a baseline noise level with nothing on in the office was 41 decibels. And then we flipped to auto when we're testing the auto mode. It had a 44 decibel noise level, 80 degrees Celsius average core temp with a maximum core temp at 84. We flipped it over to PWM mode it had a 49 to about 50 decibels, the 73.5 average core temp, maxing out at 84.5 degrees Celsius. So what that tells us is the auto mode runs somewhat quieter, but it's going to run hotter, which makes sense. And then when you got the PWM mode turned on, it's going to ramp the fans up a little bit more, cool it off, but it's going to be slightly noisier. So it kind of depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for quieter, you're going to want to switch to the auto mode. If you're looking for max cooling, you know, switch that to PWM mode. You like my bling? It's pretty hot. Actually, I'm really cool with this. You recording? <laughs> <laughs> All right, conclusion time. So what I didn't like about this AIO was the two cables that are kind of in different two locations. The lighting cable is on the bottom, PWM cable is on the side. Would have liked to see them closer together for better cable management, but not a big deal. Uh, the AMD bracket uh, was kind of uh, tricky to basically clip on. I had to really push down and get that clipped. You know, not a big deal. Would have liked to see a four pin though. It's a lot easier. What I did like about it is that there's no software to install for this. Uh, you can just rely on the Intelligent Auto Hub here. The auto and PWM, nice and clean, nothing to install. Software becomes problematic sometimes. Uh, but it's also a con though too, because going to the software and creating your own fan curves is really nice. So, you know, no software, pros and cons of each. What I also like about this AIO is the excellent cable management with the cables running through the sleeves and also having the fan hub and the LED hub uh, 
mounted right on the radiator. It was really nice. And then I also like the clean look. I also like the rubber pump. It's really kind of a nice different feel. And then uh, the option to have an RGB option with the Prismas here, the addressable RGB fans. So all in all, I'm really liking Fracta Design's new AIO and I can't wait to use it more. Um, we've got a lot of new videos coming out, so stay tuned, a lot of exciting content. In the meantime, if you want to see more, take a look at this next video and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Ah, other way.